In 43 years, the Logies have had their share of surprises. Let's pause, shall we, to remember some of the funnier moments when things went wrong. <laughs> OK, on with the show. I would have thought more applause, but Saul's up to yourself. <laughs> Thank you and welcome. 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 Welcome all to the 42nd Logies. And, <laughs> God, if only they were that long. <laughs> I'm very sorry the show started a little later than usual tonight. We had to wait until last year's finish. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you all here for television's big night. It is Australian television's night of evenings. What a night. I had last night. <laughs> Tonight we're very excited about the Logies because for the very first time they're not fixed. No, no, no. <laughs> no for the very... This is the one night of the year that all the people of Australian television gather under one roof and we get to know them without their minders, without their publicists, without their scripts, just exactly as they are. I can't describe the experience of well, for a start, seeing executives from rival networks hand in hand. Uh, years ago, of course, they weren't nearly as open as that. Here's a former winner of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Mr James Packer. Good evening, James. Hi, Andrew. How are you? You well? Very well. Now, this is a power table. I see the Chief Executive Officer of Channel 9, David Leckie, is here as well. I wouldn't want to put a foot wrong here. Well, James, could you just move your chair out one little bit, please? I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much. There, just a bit more. Thank you. Just out this way. Thank you. And if you could just hold that glass of water like that. Thank you. I'm just going to sit on your lap. I'd like you to drink this glass of water, if you could, while I talk. Would you just mind drinking there, James? Thank you. I'd just like to say that all the opinions expressed by me tonight are mine and not those of the Packer family. I'll never work in this town again, right? Oh. The Logie Awards have been held for the last 12 years here in the, the Southern Cross Ballroom. Uh, we were going to change this year, but would you believe around Australia that in Melbourne, the, the Southern Cross Ballroom is the, is the only place which really hasn't got down the centre a cricket pitch? And it's... <laughs> oh, I didn't... Oh, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't realise that, that you were here, uh, but I... <laughs> Mike McCall Jones wrote that, sir. <laughs> Isn't he a bad man, eh? <laughs> the evening will pretty much run like this. I'll be up here on stage, uh, as I am now hosting, and uh, you lot will be down there sitting at tables, pretty much as you are now, uh, watching me. I think that's sensible. Uh, <laughs> be chaos the other way around, you lot up here and me down there by myself. <laughs> it's a very special night, the Logies. You folks at home will see uh, many of your favourite shows and an equal number of those you can't abide honoured this evening. <laughs> many here tonight will go home with nothing. It's a tradition here at Crown Casino. <laughs> if only, if only, ladies and gentlemen, we... Oh, please. Yeah, right on, Sean. If only we could give a Logie to everybody in this room. <laughs> Sadly, we cannot. <laughs> it would render the evening meaningless. We'd be giving them out to bar staff and security people and... These people have nothing to do with the creation of television. Mind you, there are some executive producers here who fall into that category, so uh, who knows? Anything could happen tonight. Tonight, everyone in the room gets a Logie. As the night wears on, those not worthy of an award will be announced. They will then stand up, blame someone responsible for their failure, <laughs> then hand the Logie back in a cloud of bitterness. The most important award in our... Uh industry is not the Logie, nor is it the Penguin, nor is it the... What's that joke one? The Sand... 
Freddy, Betty, the Fanny, Sammy. <laughs> The most important one is called the McNair Anderson. <laughs> There's been a, uh, a third rating system that's going to be introduced. We have a sneak preview of it here. It's just as accurate as Nielsen and Oztam. Here we go. Um, <laughs> shall we see how we're doing tonight? <clears throat> ah. <laughs> Excellent. Three million viewers for Channel 9. No one gets sacked this week. So, how are the Logies chosen? There are two categories. Those chosen by TV Week and those chosen by TV Week. When someone else wins a Logie, no matter what you may think of it, be careful what you say and who you say it to, because you may be on camera. This is Alex Dimitriades from last year. The Logie goes to Sea Change, the ABC. It was a beautiful moment. In fairness to Alex, I think what he actually was saying was, let's clap, but you can't be too sure. If you're winning a Logie, please don't get too gushy about it. Uh, learn a lesson from little Sally Field at the Oscars. When she ran on stage squealing, you like me, you like me. <laughs> Millions of people around the world were saying, we did up till now. <laughs> of course, uh, whoever wins tonight, we're expecting some fairly wild acceptance speeches. I, I suppose you also, Roberto Benini at the Oscars. That's what we're looking for, for tonight. Uninhibited passion, wild emotion. Tables upheavaled, fights breaking out, Ernie Don style. Let's give TV Week something to report so some poor bugger might buy the magazine and we'll have the Logies again. Let's yes. torch this place. It's a funny word, Logie, isn't it? Don't you think it's a... It's a sort of almost a yucky word, I think. I don't know. It depends how you say it. Logie. Sounds a bit like something you'd find in a Chinese hanky. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, what's next? OK, we have awards to present, stars to meet, a few memories, starting after this break. Back in a moment. When you talk about Hollywood, when you talk about movies, when you talk about stars, when you talk about greats, if you don't include this gentleman, you've never seen a movie. Mr. John Wayne. Lee Marvin. Burt Lancaster. Sammy Davis, Jr. Sitting in with the band tonight, Samuel L. Jackson. Muhammad Ali. El McPherson. Ricky Martin. Isn't it wonderful? I'm the only one I've never heard of. <laughs> <laughs> Would you welcome her now, our first overseas guest. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Lassie. Ladies and gentlemen, Phyllis Diller. I want you to meet the star of Morgan Mindy, Mr. Robin Williams. Please welcome Mel Brooks. Thank you. Thank you, friends, for that warm, generous, open-hearted reception. Sometimes they stand. I didn't win anything, did I? <laughs> Lee, it's uh... In your own special language, do you want to say hello to everybody? Uh, and for those of you on drugs, Gosh, you look great. Thank you very much. Someone said to me the other day, there are three ages in life. Youth, middle age, and gee, you look great. Before I came here, um, I asked about you, and they told me that, that Bert Newton had uh, all the charm 
and the talent of a Bob Hope. And now that I've seen you tonight, you are very charming. <laughs> What do you feel has been the greatest thrill in your career so far? Being up here with you. Can you get closer? Might I say that I'm... I'm thrilled too because I, I've done these special occasion shows for 17 years and at last I can forget all about it and just... <laughs> relax. You're an amateur, baby. Let's just have a look tonight, by the way. Just, oh, I brought the heavyweight stuff over here. I wasn't gonna come up with nothing, you know, empty. That's just a little. And this one, this is the, this is my newest acquisition. See, this is one from, that everybody talks about, and it's a set. See, it matches the ring. And uh, I brought it over because I just wanted to let the people know that I wear all the jewelry and that everybody makes fun of it, but I'm straight. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> Just thinking, wouldn't the Southern Cross Ballroom make a beautiful spot for a wedding reception? Is that a proposal of some sort? I... No, well, no, no, no. <laughs> no David, if I change, you'll be the first. But... <laughs> yeah. Is that true about you? What are you? Oh, you're kidding. That's my wife over there. You've been down, haven't you? <laughs> Very doesn't, doesn't mean much in America. <laughs> doesn't mean much here. <laughs> Another present from Sammy, eh? Get out of here! <laughs> oh, look, somebody's fantasy. <laughs> Why do you think this one keeps wilting all the time? Do you think it's significant? <laughs> I'm sure it'll rise for you, Paul. <laughs> Now, Portia, uh, I know a lot of women in the audience would like me to ask you this question. Uh, like you, I have hair halfway down my back, but it's nowhere quite as lustrous as yours. How do you, how do you look after your hair? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? I, I wash it, I grow it, it's hair. You certainly grow it, let me tell you. you could, could, I, could I have some of it, Portia? I don't want to sound unhealthy or anything, but <laughs> could I just, just a little bit, just a little wipe there? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, your uh, mind isn't moving in. Let's do. move on, shall we? I don't even know if you know this, Al. I don't know if other people do. I have found these, which are some oh stamps God. from Antigua, with your face on them. Can we get a still of those stamps, please? These are genuine Antiguan stamps. That's quite an honour, don't you think? Uh, a big honour, especially from Antigua, yeah. of all places. What's weird is these haven't been posted, but someone's licked the back off them already. <laughs> people licking that than anything else. I was going to ask, no, never mind. You know, I was sharing table with your wife and... Uh... My former wife. <laughs> <laughs> you were married to Bert Bacharach, yes. one, of the, uh, one of the great composers. Oh, indeed. Were you ever there when he came up with one of his big ones? Yeah, I was there. <laughs> I was there for several. <laughs> <laughs> going to ask me out for dinner or something? Is no, that... not while well, my wife is sitting right oh, over there. Oh, sorry. Uh, but sorry. I thought there might be somebody else's uh, husband in the I mean, so there might be someone I... else who... Were we ever married? <laughs> we can think about it. I've heard that even Janet Jackson wants some of that chocolate salty ball action. Is that right? Yes, yeah, she's a fan. And I went backstage one night at a concert. And uh, she was quite... Accommodating. I see. <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> i got to say, your voice is making me moist just standing here. I was like, it's amazing. I do want to ask you uh, about your character, because, you know, it's been said that you, your, your character is businesslike, humorless, cranky, aggressive, even obnoxious. Is that you in real life? person. You cool? Well, as long as I'm not fighting nobody, I'm a little quiet. Yeah. How do you feel about being so close to Joe over there at the same table? Is that okay? Joe, Joe Bugner you're talking That's about. That's right. Well, he and I are real good friends. I'd like you and me to be real good friends too. <laughs> you know, it's the 
dumb as you look. <laughs> Just watching how you operate, you're a real cool cat. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. I, I like the way you clap and everything. Yeah. I've, uh, I've seen you operate, and by gosh, I like the way you operate. <laughs> you know, a, a lot of people, Don Lane, who interviewed you on Thursday night, fellow American over there, you know, Don? Hey, who, hey, who, how you Don? <laughs> he made a, a comment that's very true. There's not a mark. I'm gonna mark on you. I told you I was pretty, didn't I? <laughs> no, you don't, you don't have a mark yourself. Uh, not that you can see. <laughs> I have a few. I have a couple of scratches over my eyes, but you can't see them. Yeah, but you need to look very closely. The eyebrow you? pencil covers it up. Sure. Hmm. <laughs> Muhammad, you <laughs> Sweetheart, you're doing it. <laughs> You look absolutely magnificent, you know. You would be, you've got everything we require for Australian television. You're tall, you're American, you're, 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 you're just... <laughs> This is something which is never asked of an overseas visitor here, so I hope you don't mind if I ad lib madly. But what do you think of Australia? <laughs> Uh, all right. <clears throat> I, well, I love Australia, and I, I love the Australian people. You're warm and, and sexy and <laughs> marvelous and <laughs> terrific. It was worth flying here 22 hours <laughs> to present this award. It really was. Thank you for doing that for me. You really are, no, honestly, wonderful, w wonderful people. I really mean that. And I, I really feel such a love for you, and I can feel the love coming back to me. <laughs> and that's the beauty of Prozac. <laughs> You like Australian television? Yeah. yeah it's good? Yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, yeah. you've been here two days, so what have you seen in the two days you've been here? Uh, nothing. By uh, being a part of the Logies this year, it's given me an opportunity to sort of uh, expand my culture in terms of uh, being exposed to Australian television. I'd just like to say that it rocks. So you guys are great. I know all the rules of Australian football. Well, yes. Because I've been watching it. Our coverage time. of AFL is the best in the world. Yeah, it should be. <laughs> The Logies, it's, it's our important award, but you know nothing about the Logies. Well, I know there have been 1,183 Logies awarded, not including tonight, in an average of 33.8 per year. Uh, Ann Wills has won 19, Graham Kennedy has won 18, although he had to share one of those with Burt Newton, who's won 13 in his own right, as has Mike Walsh, who won 13 for the Mike Walsh Show from 1972 through <laughs> 1985. <laughs> which, um, which is tied with 60 Minutes for the most shows award, or most awards to an individual program, although 60 Minutes could conceivably be credited for five Reporter of the Year awards, which you have won twice to add to your own personal collection of 11 Logies. <laughs> Actually, um, I won 13. Oh, you're going to count the two Chelsford? Stories? <laughs> <laughs> Fine, right? If you want to be that way. It's your show. You're the host. I was told I was, told I was coming here to give out a war. They didn't tell me I was going to do an interview. Well, no. In actual fact, I, I must... I must, I must apologize. This, this is also serving for me as an audition for Willis at Seven. <laughs> I do, but Mike's going on holidays for a couple. You want to get to the gold? You think you want to get to the gold? But I have a surprise. <laughs> I have a, this, this is going to be a surprise tonight. Well, I, I, I think, promise yes, I've you, got when you gonna find be. out who out there wins this, it will be a shock. <laughs> I like the boy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Roy or Boy? I like the boy. There's nothing wrong with saying that. Roy. Yeah. Well, hey, hang on, hang on. No. Really? I'll change religion. I'll do anything for you. I don't, I don't care. What's wrong with saying that? I like the boy. 
boy. Who you, who you, who I, mean, I mean, I like the man. Who's I like. You, oh, I, who's yes. You call boy? Are we facing in the right direction? But if you want to do, I don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> Muhammad. I. Uh... No, it's okay. It's okay. Excuse me, mate. Is uh, Mel Gibson on tonight? <laughs> no, Archie. Mel Gibson is not on tonight, and uh -huh. Archie. We are not in the break yet. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be back very shortly uh, with the Light Entertainment Award, so stick with us. Uh, Mel Gibson won't be on, but of course, we have some great people lined up. Thank you, Archie.